So this is like a how to um, simple airbrush techniques video, I guess. Um, this is kind of just like easy basics that you can do with stencils. Um, I'm just doing this video to show how scales work because I was trying to explain it to a friend and it's easier just to make a video of it rather than text about it because it makes no sense. And honestly, it's something that still kind of is confusing until you do it yourself. Um, but I'm just doing some simple techniques here with my airbrush and some stencils to get a really cool design in the end that looked like it took hours and hours to do and tons of skill when in reality I did this all in an hour with the same vinyl. So pretty much what I'm trying to show here is the different effects you can get with words and how to make your words pop or or just different techniques really to do it so for this first one um i know it's a bad word i'm sorry that was just the first thing that came to mind um for this first one what i did was i cut a vinyl of my words and i already based my board with just like a blue pearl um and then i went ahead and taped off Two different sections because this is going to be kind of like two panels in one just to show the difference in the words and the scales that I'm doing so I cut out my words and I put the vinyl straight on there and so that dark blue you see is actually the vinyl which is the same as the scales that I'm doing and the scales are gonna go over top of this so I made the scales myself on my cutter and really it was just a bunch of circles all together didn't really need the underside so I cut it off but anyway so place the words down and then start airbrushing the scales so you kind of want to offset them every time you do this but I just follow along that very top edge of the scales um, you don't necessarily have to go around it that's the nice thing about a stencil is you can paint on the stencil if you're scared to go overboard and you'll get a shadow around the edge so just moving down I had to add a little piece because I forgot, you know, size changes when you move it across. But so I just did this all the way down, airbrushing around and you don't really have to like fuss about making it extremely even. Um, that's the cool thing about scales is it's not going to be extremely even. But you do want to make sure that when you replace the stencil like that, you leave a gap from the last points to the top of the scales because if you don't there's a possibility that when you peel off that vinyl you'll end up seeing the points on the next scale and i accidentally did that farther down in the video but um it's not too crazy noticeable but like if you're a perfectionist and i know i am it will drive you insane so here you can see i'm actually airbrushing over my words um the vinyl is still on there i'm airbrushing those scales directly over the top not worrying about that stencil i'm just pretending like it's not even there it's just part of the background just keep moving those scales down offsetting them every time and when you're airbrushing this um kind of this small you want to make sure you have your airbrush at a lower psi i think mine was about like 13 maybe not even but i just kept it really low because i didn't want to go overboard and have too big of a shadow since what i was doing was so small and just went around and shadowed all the edges on my tape because i did want the tape to be part of the design and then after that i turned my airbrush down kind of even lower this was probably at like 10 and then I turned my dial way in on my airbrush and I really just followed around all my letters here and with this the easiest thing to do is to honestly like start on top of the vinyl like don't try and outline it because you'll get your letters way too thick so I try and fill in the whole vinyl and that's going to leave a natural little shadow anyway and then kind of just build off of that but just slowly working back and forth going around all the different edges and just taking your time with it because you don't really want to go overboard because I mean you can if you want but I did not want to so just following every word all the way around until everything was shadowed and I really 
like this effect a lot more than the next one that we do. Um, this really blends in nicely with the effect that the scales have since the scales you just shadowed around the edge and then that's the same concept here with the words is you're shadowing around the edge. And since I left that vinyl there in the first place, um, when I peel off the vinyl, it's just going to be blue with a shadow around it, which is the same as the scales. Um, so it does really pop and looks really cool in the end. So now the airbrushing is pretty much done. Um, with these words, you can see I got all the edges and now I'm just removing that vinyl. And once it comes off, you can see that the scales are not there. And that is because I put this vinyl on first. So if you were to do this vinyl after you did all the scales, um, you would be able to see the scales through it. And that wasn't really the effect that I wanted. I wanted the words to really just stick out, be plain blue with a shadow. That way it looks like it was made to be that way and not just like added after the fact. Um, I'm sure it would be cool if you did it that way, but this way it just makes it more defined between your words and the design. And it took me a little bit to figure out how this worked in the beginning and it is a little confusing and can hurt your head, but you just, you can't think too hard about it. And it's definitely one of those things that you just have to play around with until you figure it out. Because when it comes to airbrushing, you can do anything and everything. There's so many different effects. And here I'm just shadowing the inside line of the tape. That way when I take it off, it looks like there's almost like a frame kind of around the scales and there's a shadow rather than it just cutting off at a line. I thought that would be kind of a cool effect to just make it look more finished and put together right rather than just here's some random tape lines like <laughs> i just wanted it to make sense even though this is really just a canvas board that i'm doing basic designs on i mean just, it was fun practice So now on to the second part of the board. This is the bottom part and what I did here is I flipped the board upside down. So the scales are actually flipped at this point. So it the the scales are facing downward rather than up like how I did the first board. Um, so you can really play around with that too and how you want your scales to face or what direction. You can even do them at an angle. You could do them sideways, whatever you want. I just wanted them to be laying downwards this time rather than upwards against the words. And really did exact same of what I did the first time, just flipped upside down. And as you can see on this one, there is no vinyl for the words on here. I am putting the vinyl on after I do the scales to show the other effect you could do. Rather than having the vinyl on first, we're going to put it on afterwards. And the vinyl is going to be a bit different too, where instead of airbrushing around it like I did the last one, this one is going to fill in the stencil. So it's kind of like a negative and a positive. So this would be the positive. I think, I think that's how that works. I'm not very too sure. I'm still learning airbrushing terms and stuff. I just kind of do it. Um, it's hard to explain it really, but I'm trying. And yeah, so scales are flipped upside down and then we're gonna put the vinyl for the words on once the scales are all done and dried.
And again, I'm just going around and airbrushing all the edges with black. This time I'm doing it a little bit more heavy handed just to see if it would look good heavy handed. And my airbrush was kind of acting up too, kind of spattering. So, I mean, I had to cover it up anyway, but I just went a little bit darker on the black and in farther just to see too how that would work. Cause again, this is just a practice, just trying to show different effects and different things that you can do. So just exact same airbrushing as before, just a little bit harsher. And here now is the vinyl I was talking about. So this is the reverse of what we did. So I already did the scales, everything is dry, and then I put the vinyl on top. And there is transfer paper on top of this vinyl. That way it's just easier to stick your vinyl to whatever you're doing and it doesn't flop around and come apart. So just got the vinyl on there now, took off the transfer paper, and as you can see, we are filling in the vinyl this time. So with this, there's really no special way to do it. You don't have to stress too much. Just make sure your vinyl is all pressed down. That way nothing bleeds out or kind of shadows out from the air, uh, the airbrush <laughs> out from the vinyl because sometimes paint can get underneath. Just make sure that it's down and you want to fill in all the spots. So here you don't want to miss anything. You can go crazy. You don't have to do it as perfect as that. Following all the edges, you can honestly just spray the whole thing black. It doesn't matter. And just remove the vinyl now and all the tapes. And you'll start to see how the effect is different now. Peeling off the vinyls is always the most satisfying part of this, especially when you have super crisp lines and the vinyl comes off super easy. So now you can see how this vinyl is completely different from the one we just did. This one is just all black. There's no shadow. It kind of just lays directly on top of it. There's no crazy effect to it or anything. It does still look super cool if this is what you want to do. If you were to use a different color, it would definitely pop more. So here are the two different effects. You have the outline with the scales upwards, and then you have just the flat black with the scales facing downwards. So I want to know what y'all think, what you guys would do, which ones you prefer. I know which one I like, but yeah, I want to hear from y'all. So thanks for watching, and I hope this helped any of y'all who are looking to airbrush and um i like the outlined one but uh that's just me <laughs> okay bye <laughs>